Well, the mission for Denver Botanic Gardens is to connect people with plants. More importantly, plants that are from the Rocky Mountain region or from regions that are similar throughout the world. Members of our horticultural team travel all over the world each year and actually bring back plants from regions that are similar to um, the Rocky Mountain region. We just had a group of folks come back from Kazakhstan with some plants and what they're going to do is they will try to see if those plants there will survive here. And once they are approved and once we prove that they can survive here, we introduce, the, we introduce those to Denver Botanic Gardens landscape and then ultimately we end up selling them to the general public. So what we're doing is we're allowing people the opportunity to see that even though we're in a high and dry climate, that there are beautiful plants that can grow here and thrive here in the Rockies. We're in the heart of one of the greatest steppe regions in the world. So steppe climates consist of four major areas. There's Patagonia in South America, and the grasslands in South Africa. There's the grasslands and steppes of Central Asia, and then there's North America. So the steppes also <clears throat> kind of embody these rain shadows of the great mountain ranges of the world. And an important part of our work and what we do is to gather plants from those habitats and display them, grow them, study them, um, and try to promote messages of conservation of these areas, uh, as well as just interpreting the similarities and the differences of steppe climates from around the world. So you have people at lunchtime coming in in their business suits, loosening up their ties or taking off their high heels and putting on some dress shoes and just walking around, finding a quiet spot just to enjoy nature in the middle of the concrete jungle. The money that comes from Colorado Gives Day is crucial to Denver Botanic Gardens and the way we operate. We are a private nonprofit, so every dollar that we get goes back into our programming. A lot of people come to Denver Botanic Gardens for the first time and they think we're just a Disneyland for plants. And then they'll run into our staff and find out that we offer children's programs, we offer adult programs, we offer classes from goat keeping to raising chickens to all types of art programs. We do a lot for the community because one of the things that Denver Botanic Gardens strives to do is to be relevant to the community. So we're much more than just a place to come view beautiful plants. We want to give people an opportunity to get back in touch with nature and help them to get into urban homesteading if that's what they'd like to, just to have an opportunity to reconnect with nature in a time where everyone's got their iPads and their iPhones. This gives people a chance to actually get their hands in the soil and get back in touch with Mother Nature.